Gregory Porter is an American singer, songwriter, and actor. He has twice won the Grammy Award for Best Jazz Vocal Album for his albums Liquid Spirit in 2013 and Take Me to the Alley in 2016. More about this later. Gregory Porter was born in Sacramento, California on November 4, 1971, but grew up in Bakersfield, California. Porter's memories of growing up there are bittersweet. There was a lot of overt racism when the African-American singer was young. He couldn't take the girl he wanted for his date to the prom because she was white, and someone once burned a cross on his family's front lawn. Immediately afterward, neighbors brought the family vegetables from their gardens, Porter said. It was their way of letting my mom know that they were sorry about what happened and they were looking out for us. Before we dive deeper into the story of Gregory Porter, please take a moment to support this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. We would really appreciate it. Now let's get back to our story. Porter's mother was a minister who kept her family together through hard work and determination. He is the seventh of her eight children. He began singing in church at an early age, and his mother was a major influence on his musical development. Porter's musical mentors were his mother, who had an operatic voice, and the elderly East Bakersfield preachers who oversaw the church choirs he grew up in. They were originally from the South and brought those gospel roots with them. It was through his mother's record collection that he fell under the spell of Nat King Cole, learning early on how to imitate him. His father, Rufus, was largely absent from his life. In his album, All Rise, Porter says, the song, Dad Gone Thing, was in reference to his father. He said, I'm still trying to find him. He's been gone 25 years now, and I'm still trying to find him in some way. When I went to my father's funeral, person after person would stand up and talk about, oh boy, your dad sure could sing. I knew he was an extraordinary carpenter. I knew how important the church was to him, and what a charismatic, great guy he was to so many people. But, he never showed me any affection or interest. Porter always knew his love of music came from his mother, but that his voice came from his father. Along with singing, Porter was also a gifted athlete. He attended Highland High School where he played soccer and graduated in 1989. After graduating from high school, Porter received a full athletic scholarship to San Diego State University to play as a football lineman for the Aztecs, but his football career was cut short by a shoulder injury. Porter's mother died of breast cancer when he was 21 years old. On her deathbed, she reportedly told her son to sing. It's the best thing you do. Don't worry about being poor. Just follow your passion, she told him. Porter reportedly said, for a year, I couldn't sing or even listen to music because it was my mother's love of Nat King Cole that made me sing, and I was too full of grief. My voice felt broken. After his mother died, Porter moved to the Bedford-Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn, along with his brother Lloyd. He worked as a chef at Lloyd's Restaurant, where he also performed. Porter performed at other neighborhood venues, including St. Nick's Pub in Harlem, where he performed weekly. Success did not come easily. Porter was in his late 30s when he recorded his first two albums, Water and Be Good, and achieved only modest success. But his third, Liquid Spirit, was a huge success, landing at number two on the Billboard Top Jazz Albums chart and scooping up the 2014 Grammy Award for Best Jazz Vocal Album. Liquid Spirit enjoyed commercial success rarely achieved by albums in the jazz genre, reaching the top 10 on the UK album charts. Success gave Porter stability and when it happened, all he could think about was his mother. He said during an interview, All I talked about was my mother, and what an amazing woman she was, and how she was the one who pushed me to make this happen. It was during this period that he met composer and pianist Kamau Kenyatta. Kenyatta quickly became Porter's mentor, introducing him to flutist Hubert Laws. Laws then featured Porter on a track on his album, Hubert Laws Remembers the Unforgettable Nat King Cole. Laws' sister, Eloise Laws, also heard Porter during the sessions and cast him as one of the leads in the musical It Ain't Nothing But the Blues, which eventually enjoyed a run on Broadway. Take Me to the Alley was released in early 2016 and featured Porter's own version of Holding On, a track he co-wrote. 
It also won the Grammy Award for Best Jazz Vocal Album. The following year, he released an album that paid tribute to the artist who had been most influential on his own music. The Grammy-nominated Nat King Cole and Me featured Porter's versions of some of Cole's most treasured classics, including Smile and Mona Lisa, Porter said during an NPR interview. I can smell the greens on the stove and the cornbread in the oven when I hear Nat's music. I wanted to have his music come through my body, come through my vocal cords, and sing it as an expression of appreciation for him. Two years later, he returned to original music with his sixth full-length album, All Rise. It also picked up a Grammy nomination, this time for Best R&B Album. In addition to his Grammy wins, Porter has also been nominated for a number of other awards, including the Mercury Prize and the BET Award for Best Male R and B Artist. He has also performed at some of the world's most prestigious venues, including the Royal Albert Hall and the Glastonbury Festival. Porter is known for his distinctive vocals and his eclectic musical style. He has been praised by critics for his ability to blend jazz, soul, and gospel influences into a unique sound that is all his own. The New York Times described Porter as a jazz singer of thrilling presence, a booming baritone with a gift for earthy refinement and soaring uplift. Describing his own style, Porter said in a 2014 interview, I would say Donny Hathaway, Nat King Cole, Bill Withers. I hear something of me in all of them that is similar to the culture that I grew up in, gospel music. For public appearances, Porter always wears a hat reminiscent of a deerstalker incorporating fabric that covers his ears and chin. In an interview with the Daily Telegraph in 2016, he divulged that he received some facial scars when he was seven or eight, but declined to go into the specifics of how they were sustained. Porter is married and has two sons. He met his wife 15 years ago in a Moscow nightclub while touring in Russia. They started as friends, and when she came to visit New York a year later, he acted as her tour guide. By the end of her trip, he didn't want her to leave, and the next time she visited, he proposed. They live in Bakersfield, California. If you want to see other videos about famous jazz entertainers like Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, or Ella Fitzgerald, check out the playlist in the comments. This is Donovan from One Track Jazz. Thanks for watching.